Are you looking for the best subwoofer? In this video, we will look at some of the best subwoofers on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 5. Is it really worth paying a premium for a Klipsch subwoofer? We are here to show you that not all subwoofers are the same and purchasing the right one will not only guarantee you a better experience but is also a more worthy investment that lasts longer. Our team has performed a Klipsch R120SW review to help you discover the key to unlocking booming bass. Klipsch R120SW subwoofer follows the brand's aesthetics with the spun copper injection molded graphite, IMG, woofer. The grill is removable to reveal the copper-colored woofer beneath and the surface of the sub is scratch-resistant and fingerprint-proof. Not only is the Klipsch R120SW subwoofer visually pleasing, but it's also highly durable and can produce deep bass sound quality. Our team members love units that have a low-key minimalistic design, which is what the Klipsch device has. It's all black with wood grain texture and a matching grill that covers up a copper driver that's the brand's signature. There is nothing distinctly loud about the exterior, with nothing but the brand name etched into the cabinet. At 31 pounds, the unit has some weight to it but nothing that can't be handled. You can expect larger models to be heavier, but it's not difficult to move it around the room. The rubber feet help sliding it a little easier without scuffing up your floors. As a sub is a more permanent fixture in your entertainment space, you won't have to worry too much about the weight. This part of the Klipsch R120SW review is dedicated to each feature of the R120SW speaker and what it can do to elevate your home theater. The subwoofer is a beautiful design that features an MDF cabinet that's strong and sturdy with the textured black vinyl mimicking wood grain. The subwoofer was created to be long-lasting with high-grade materials to ensure its longevity. On the bottom of the subwoofer you will find rubber feet that not only protect the bottom of your sub, but also your hardwood floors and tiles. Number 4. Sonos has slowly built an empire of loyal users who not only value the quality of the company's wireless speaker lineup, but the ease of use of the system as a whole. For many of these people, the Sonos sub represents the last piece of the puzzle, you don't start with this speaker, obviously, but it's the component that might just take your enjoyment of the entire system to the next level. At $699, the sub isn't even remotely cheap. But there's no denying it adds an excellent low frequency depth, ranging from subtle bass anchoring to serious deep bass thunder, and the Sonos app lets you easily adjust bass levels without leaving your seat. So while the price is high, the results are undeniably excellent. Available in glossy black or white models, the 15.3 by 15.8 by 6.2 inch sub has an interesting shape with a little window, the acoustic slot through the middle of its body. It almost resembles a blocky, display font version of the letter O. The size is similar to plenty of subs we see, but the look is more design piece than eyesore, making its PC tower-like footprint a little easier to accept there are very few markings of any kind on the speaker. The front panel has the Sonos logo, and the left panel houses a status light and join button for joining a wireless network. Internally, the sub employs two Class D amplifiers that power dual-force cancelling drivers, positioned face-to-face. -face. The sub can dip down to 25 Hz, and its highest crossover frequency is 110 Hz. You'll want to make sure that at least one face of the sub isn't too close to a wall or otherwise obstructed, the ported acoustic slot needs to breathe in order for efficient driver performance. The speaker can also be placed horizontally on the floor, you'll need to apply the felt feet for this to be feasible, but be warned that the adhesive is strong and the feet cannot be removed once placed sub sits on 4 feet to help minimize vibrations from transferring to the floor, but your results will vary with the type of flooring you set the speaker on. The feet also create a recessed area underneath the speaker that houses the only two connections, for the power cable and an ethernet port. Other than the power cable, a cleaning chamois, and the aforementioned felt feet, there are no accessories. An Ethernet cable for the Ethernet port would have been nice, considering the price, but Ethernet is optional. The sub uses Wi-Fi, not Bluetooth, so if you don't use Ethernet you'll need a 802.11b per gram 2.4 GHz router. Number 3. There are some things in life you can't say no to. Threesomes. A ride on a private jet. A chance to meet Samuel L. Jackson. While it's entirely possible to turn these down, you'll spend many sleepless nights staring at the ceiling, wondering if you should have said yes. So when SVS offered us the chance to spend a month with the PB16 Ultra, a subwoofer capable of putting out 5000 watts at full power, we said yes. 
Automatic live traditional way of finding the best placement for a subwoofer is to put it in your listening position, turn it on, then crawl around and listen for where the bass is most pleasing. That is not going to happen here. You are never, and we mean never, going to get this thing into your listening position. Not unless you're prepared to throw your back out the SVSPB16 Ultra is heavy. Monstrously heavy. 174.5 pounds, to be precise. It's 25 inches high, and 28.3 deep, a big, black beast of a thing that is impossible to look away from, and bigger than almost any sub in this price range. Corner placement is best, but you can also slot it next to your front speakers, or at the side of your room. Wherever you decide to put it, it's best to have an idea of the placement beforehand. You are not going to want to move this thing once it's out. This isn't just because it's heavy, the smooth sides and frictionless texture make getting a proper grip quite difficult. The glossy black finish attracts fingerprints, too, as well as dust. These are very minor issues, to be sure, but would it have killed SVS to add handles? Fortunately, outside of a few niggles, the design is top-notch. The front end of the subwoofer is dominated by a gigantic 16 inches driver, fiberglass resin, hard as rock, with a subtle SVS logo in the center. Beneath it are three ports, designed to either be left open, or sealed off with the included foam inserts, more on these below. This is an option SVS have used before, in their Ultra Tower speakers, full review here. There are also six slots for an included metal grill, which you can use to hide away the driver and ports. We much preferred having them exposed, just because we really enjoyed how they looked, but we can absolutely see that some people will prefer to use the grill. It's well built and substantial, and easy to remove and replace. Number 2. There are three things to consider before you get your wallet out to buy a QB12 subwoofer, space, your budget and your neighbors. Because if you're in the market for a plus-sized Q Acoustics surround speaker package, or aiming to upgrade the low-end response in your current home cinema setup, those are the only things standing in your way. It is designed to work with Q Acoustics 3000i suite, the 3010i and 3050i surround packages that have just one watt hi-fi awards again, as well as the Concept 5.1 speaker range. Improving on a class leader is a tall task, but the QB12 proves it has precisely what it takes. Beneath the grill is a 30 cm driver powered by a 220W Texas Instruments TPA3255 Class D amplifier, more than ready to shake the floor of your living room. A custom die-cast aluminium heat sink on the rear panel supports and cools the amplifier and power supply. While Q Acoustics has also fitted a brace inside the MDF cabinet to provide mechanical stability to the driver and reduce unwanted vibrations and resonance of the unit itself during playback to the rear, you'll also find a 0 180th degree phase switch as well as level and crossover dials to help integration with the rest of your speaker package, though of course, you'll also need to go through setup on your AV receiver for the best results. Take care when lifting this 21.5 kg beast from the box. It's impeccably built, with a sealed cabinet that makes positioning a little less fussy than it would be with a ported design. The price above gets you a black or white vinyl finish, such as on the 3000i range of speakers, while gloss versions to match the concept range are available for a £150 premium. The QB12 is almost cube-shaped and pretty big, so will take some hiding if you want it completely ignored. Part of the beauty of the 306 OS, which comes as standard with the 3010i and 3050i 5.1 cinema packs, is its slimline design, you can slot it tidily among the front three channels, or even beneath the sofa. The QB12, on the other hand, is liable to stick out, hence the need for space. Number 1. The SVS SB1000, buy at Amazon, is SVS's entry-level subwoofer. It features a 12-inch driver and 325 watts of Class D power to ensure that the sub produces plenty of desired low-frequency sound. The SB stands for Sealed Box, which is the preferred option for many two-channel enthusiasts, who think that ported subs, which often play quite a bit deeper, should be reserved for home theater applications. It comes in three different colors black ash gloss black, and gloss white, and it's compatible with the SVS smartphone app, which connects via Bluetooth to the audiophile subwoofer and allows you to control volume, crossover, EQ, and everything in Betwindo state it's simply, the performance of the SVS SB1000 at this price is special. I didn't perform measurements on this one, but if you're interested in seeing them, the good folks at Audioholics included them in their review, which you can find here. The SVS SB1000 Pro is small in size but not in sound, which means you can add some deep, low frequencies to your audio, or surround system, without investing too much floor space or lots of money. 
Most subwoofers are simple and, more often than not, ugly black boxes. SVS offers the SV1000 Pro in both gloss black and a black, as as well as a more contemporary gloss white finish, which makes it easy to blend a sub into the decor of your room. As an entry-level subwoofer, the SVS SV1000 Pro provides fantastic performance for its price. More importantly, using the app you're able to customize the performance to your liking adjust essential setup functions like low-pass filter, phase, polarity, EQ, and room gain compensation. This may feel somewhat secondary, but if you're using an integrated amp or preamp that doesn't have bass management, being able to tinker with the sub from the listening position is as good a feature as you're going to find. The biggest complaint I had about this sub is the length of the power cord. When you are trying to find the sweet spot for your subwoofer, you want to put the sub into the listening position and walk around the room until the sub sounds its best, then swap positions with it. That can be difficult when the power cord